Hey Gems, it's your girl Naya and I'm back, back again with another video. If you're new to this channel, welcome, join the family, you know, hit that like button, you can subscribe a little bit, you know, and comment. And if you're not new, welcome back. Okay, let's get started with this video. That one is to moisturize your face. I use 100% natural African shea butter. I do recommend that you moisturize your face before putting on your primer because it gives your skin more of a natural glow when you're finished with your freaking makeup, okay? And also, I do recommend shea butter because it does help my skin. Like, when I'm going bare face on a regular day, my skin looks so freaking nice and glowy. Like, it's getting rid of my dark spots, acne, and everything. Like, I'm totally totally in love with my shea butter and another thing about the shea butter is a little bit goes a long way so you want to make sure that you do not use that much if you do end up buying you some shea butter step two is to prime your face i'm using maybelline master prime by face studio primer this is my first time using it and i guess it was a good primer i don't really know like how to like tell if a primer is good or not but i like this primer i do i actually like it and it's supposed to hydrate and smooth your skin but i actually like it i actually really like this primer So now we're going to go in with our gold brows, black brown shade eyebrow pencil. Honestly, I usually use dark brown, but then again, I usually don't wear makeup. So I'm going in with the black brown to give me a darker look for this type of makeup look that I'm going for. Honestly, didn't know what look I was going for. I was just winging it, but um, it came out really cute. So I do recommend you go buy you one of these. They're like $3 at the hair store and they're actually really good for their price. Like they're really good. Okay guys, and now it's time to conceal those brows. I'm going in with two different types of concealers. Number one is my Maybelline one in the color Hazelnut. And then I'm using some other concealer that I got from the hair store. It's called um, Isme New York Concealer. I don't really know what color that is, but it's closer to my skin tone. When I'm going for like a regular eyebrow look, I would go in with my Isme Concealer by itself because it's dark and it's closer to my skin tone but when i'm doing my makeup and i want that kind of like light effect around my brows to make it look like it's fresh and new i go in with my maybelline hazelnut i'm only using the maybelline hazelnut because honestly i bought it and it was too light and i was like i can't give it back now i done used it so yeah that's why i'm using that and i'm just gonna give you a full disclaimer wait do y'all see that glow though on my skin sorry i'm getting distracted but that glow that's that's that shea butter baby that's the power of shea butter baby right there but um anyway back to what i was saying just a full disclaimer i'm not the best when it comes to concealing my brows i was a beginner i'm not a beginner i'm not advanced though i'm like in the middle so i'm not the best when it comes to concealing my brows but you know i did my best i had to remember they're like sisters they're not identical and as you guys can see, I went over my brows about 20,000 times before I got it to where I was like, forget it, I'm not doing this anymore. And I just dealt with it. So yeah, enjoy.
is to prep those eyelids. Now, the way you prep your eyelid is, as you guys can see, I've taken some of the concealer that was on the bottom of my brows. This is also how I kind of blend the concealer. I put it on my eyelid, and I blend it into my eyelid, and then I add some more concealer to my eyelid. And I blend that concealer in, and then I go in with my setting powder, and I set my eyelids and prep it for when I do my freaking eyeshadow. And it makes my eyeshadow pop, and it makes it come out way better, which is why I always, always prep my eyelids. Oh, and I forgot to say this early in the video. Here's a disclaimer. My niece's birthday party was today, so the party had started, and I'm in the bathroom doing my makeup. So you will see a lot of dance breaks because they were playing music, and I just started dancing to it. So there is a lot of dance breaks. There's a lot of times where I would just pop up out of nowhere in the middle of doing my makeup and start dancing. Yeah, so get ready to see all those moments because I'm not editing them out. You're going to see the raw and uncut thing of how I put on my makeup and why it will take me so long to get ready. Okay, now we're getting into the fun part, which is the eyeshadow, okay? I feel like the eyeshadow make the whole look. I mean, you can go without eyeshadow and still look cute, but you know, the eyeshadow, when you trying to go for a dramatic look, the eyeshadow makes the whole look. Now, I thought the colors were showing. I thought I was actually showing you guys the colors, but they didn't show, and I don't feel like telling you guys every color. So just, you know, imagine, you know, use your imagination and you know colors. You should know colors. You went over it in like what? Kindergarten? So you guys should know what colors I'm using on my freaking eye. Because I show you the color. You just don't see the name. That's the only problem. And I'm using the crayon case box of crayons eyeshadow palette to do this look. And honestly, I'm so happy with my results. Actually, this is a really good eyeshadow palette. You guys should go buy it.
Okay, step seven is the foundation. Now for foundation, I mix these two colors together from the Born This Way um, line. I don't really remember the name and I don't really feel like going to look for it. Sorry guys. But yeah, I mixed these two colors together because one was too dark and the other one was too light for me. So I mixed the two colors together so that they can go together well and they actually did go together really well and i'm glad that i did mix them you're going to see me go with my beauty blender first and then you're going to see me go with my brush after because i don't really use my beauty blender to blend in my foundation i more so use it for my concealer and i mostly use my blush my brush for my foundation but i want it to be different So step seven is to conceal. The way I conceal is I put my concealer under my eyes, like on my cheekbones, and I put it on the bridge of my nose. I put it on my forehead and like that space between my eyebrows. I put it under my nose, like on top of my lip, three lines there, and then I put it on my chin, three lines there. And now, and after that, I'm going to go in with my beauty blender. Now step eight is to set your face. For this part, I'm going in with my setting powder and I am setting that concealer into my face to give it that natural glow and natural melt. Right now, I'm just showing you guys the setting powder that I use, but we are contouring right now. That is step nine. I'm going to go with my True Complexion Contour Palette. I swear, I love this freaking contour palette. Like, this is the only contour that I would freaking wear. I used the contour, and I was just like, no, get this crap off of my face. I love this contour palette. I feel like this is the only contour that makes my makeup look its very best. I use other ones and the contour will be looking too dark. It don't be looking at all. It's just horrible. So I'm really in love with this contour palette. Like this contour palette is really, really good. Now we come to step 10, which is brush off that setting powder. You do not want to leave that setting powder on your face. Give yourself a powdery look. It is only there to set that concealer into your makeup look. Do not leave on your setting powder. And you want to make sure you're using a different brush for everything because you do not want freaking caked up makeup. It's disgusting.
And now we come to step 11. And I'm going in with my Anglola highlight that I got from the crayon case. If you guys have not seen my other video I did reviewing the Anglola highlight, go watch that. It should be in my description. And I also should have my other makeup tutorial, like my first ever makeup tutorial in the description. Haven't posted a makeup tutorial in a, over a year. So, yeah. But anyway, guys, I don't know about you guys, but when I put on some freaking highlight, I feel like the only baddie. I feel like... Yo, I feel like can't nobody touch me. I feel like without highlight, my makeup ugly. Like, I feel like highlight makes me. Highlight and freaking eyeshadow and lashes. That makes the look. Like, I can't. I can't. If I don't have highlight, I'm not wearing it. Mm-mm. Okay, step 12 is to set your makeup. You're gonna go in while well, I went in with the Maybelline Master Fix by Face Studio Wear Boosting Setting Spray. It locks in your makeup. It's supposed to make it long lasting. And honestly, I love the setting spray. Like, look, you're gonna see how different my makeup looks after I'm done with the setting spray. And now we're up to the 13th step, which is to use our lip liner, which is lips, but I go in with lip liner. I'm one person who likes lip liner. I'm honestly just about to put on lip liner and then I'm gonna put on lip gloss and I'm gonna mix it together. And that's just gonna be the look for today. I'm not really into lipstick as much, like lipstick isn't really my thing. I try it out every once in a while, but I'm more so a lip liner and lip gloss type of girl, but I'm going to try something different later on where I just use lip gloss without the lip liner. I feel like just using lip gloss without the lip liner, you can't really see my lips, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna try something really different next time, but I'm going in with my gold brow eyebrow pencil and the color dark brown, no, black brown, and that's how I got my line lip look. Now I'm gonna go with my lashes. These, la these lashes, I was actually planning on selling them in the future, um, but as of right now, I'm not selling them. But they will be sold in the future. I'm just, you know, low on stock on lashes altogether. But when I get back in stock, those lashes will be in stock also because I actually really like these lashes. At first, when I first got those lashes, I hated them. I hated them with a passion. I said, these lashes are freaking ugly. But then I was like, these are the only lashes that I don't really wear. So I'm putting with this makeup look. And I did, and it actually made my whole makeup look pop, I feel like, without the lashes. And it, it just wouldn't have been the way it was. It wouldn't have been as pop as it was. So... Thank you, lashes, for that. But yeah, I'm going to start selling these lashes soon. 2020 is the year I will start selling a lot of stuff. I'm going to start selling a lot of stuff. And those lashes is definitely one of them. So stay tuned. Oh, for the rest of this video, you guys will just watch me continue to get ready for this freaking party that I was late getting really ready to because I'm getting everybody else ready. But yeah, you guys are just going to see me do my bun, my edges and all that extra crap that I did. Put my hoops in and all that like your girls look like a bed just to sit in the house. But you know, it's a right though. It was a party. It was a party. It's a right though. It was a party.
Okay, guys, we are coming to the end of this video. <laughs> if you made it this far, thank you so much. You might as well like, comment, and subscribe on this video, you know. Oh, and I forgot to tell y'all. Thank you so much for watching my channel. One of my videos from, like, it's an old video. Like, when I posted the Amazon bundles, it's almost at 1K. Like, we lit, period. Like, who? Like, what? What gang is better than the gym gang? Period. Like, come on. Come on. Come on. Bangers. Back to back. We doing this. Period. This is our year. And nobody gonna stop us. And that's just dead on that. What? Period. All right, y'all. I'll see y'all later. Bye.